What's good, the citizens of Warframe? Hackpack Gaming here with you another video about Warframe, and today it's gonna be about the Surata. Surata is a very, 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 very powerful, powerful, powerful glaive. It competes a bit with glaive. It's like glaive is here, Surata is right, like right, right here in the in the glaive. And there is a reason for that. A glaive proxy slash guaranteed slash. That's what where this weapon shines. Surata guaranteed uh, impact. So if Surata was broken slash on explosion, buddy. Glaive is gonna be gone and goodbye. So, this Hirata is an infested glaive that deals primary toxin damage on melee and thrown attacks. So, when you do normal hits or thrown uh, hits, you're gonna make the uh, infested, uh, not infested, the toxin uh, damage. Explosion has guaranteed the toxin impact uh, proc and doesn't need direct of sight to deal damage will and will penetrate uh, walls. As we all know, uh, Glaive Prime got nerfed in the, uh, in the line of sight. Like, you, the line of sight is being nerfed to reduce the meta of the Grave Prime, but still, he's the strongest uh, melee in the game right now. So, but Sirata didn't get nerfed in the, in the uh, line of sight. Don't worry about that. So, when we say Glaive, we say Throne, and we say Explosion. Mini Thanos doesn't know how to do that. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, so, when you throw the weapon using the normal uh, melee attack... Okay, this, we, we're gonna talk about this. Okay, I'm just... Melee attacking E, 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 E. There you go, normal. But, but, that's not how you use glaives, my friend. If, you, you're, if you're using a glaive like this, you're, you're playing the game very wrong, okay? What you need to do is you hold. Boom. You throw the weapon. Hold. Throw the weapon. Hold. Throw the weapon. You can jump. Hold. You see that? Jump. Hold. You can do it while you're jumping. You can do it all, okay? Simple. But that's not the main damage. Look at this. See that? You can keep doing this. Boom. Boom. Okay? But that's not the highest damage you can do with the weapon. The highest damage you can do with the weapon is... You know, in any weapon. Let's say Gram. Let's say um, Broken War. As everybody been the Broken War. Alright? The heavy attack. When you hit, boom, boom. E, 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 E. And then heavy attack. How you heavy attack? is with the, uh, the the button inside the roll in the mouse the button inside the roll in the mouse which is uh, in some primary weapons it's called the alt fire in the amp it's the alt fire okay it's the heavy attack i'm not talking about this hits don't many tanos get confused they think this is the heavy attack this what i'm doing right now but no that's hold in the normal attack this is the normal attack clicking and this is hold Okay, to throw the weapon, okay, so you hit the weapon like this, if you want to throw it, you hold the same button, does E, does the same thing, okay, you tap on E, boom, 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 you hold E, you throw the weapon, okay, but now there is another thing, you can detonate the weapon, look at this, what's the difference between this and this, you see the detonation, I will do it again, throwing without detonation, throwing with detonation, Throw without detonation, throwing with detonation. So simple. You throw with a normal melee attack, but hold, hold to throw. Wherever you'd like the distance. Like for example, you 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 hear it, you like it to be here, boom, you detonate it here. Okay? So throw where, where whenever you desire. Like I wanna hit the head there, and boom. I wanna hit the floor here, boom. I wanna hit my panzer, boom. I wanna hit that wall, boom. I wanna hit the roof, boom. The travel distance, okay? You have a travel distance to play around. Okay, so from here you can just boom, normal hits, and now gonna detonate. Boom. See that? You see the damage difference? Boom. See that? Throw, boom. Kaboom, kaboom, easy, a breezy. Okay? So, I bring you today uh, three builds. Three, 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 three uh, builds. So, the first build is gonna be viral. I know, I know, I know, I know. Wait, 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 wait. No, sorry, not viral. It's a toxin. This weapon deals primary uh, toxin damage by uh, modding it for toxin. Modding this weapon for toxin is the best. Why? Because it's like you're boosting the passive of the weapon. It makes it so freaking good. Okay. The reason we're using Nidus, there is a reason we're using Nidus. So I don't boost the weapon in any way. Because if I use, for example, uh, let's say Ash. Let's say Ash with uh, Eclipse. Let me show you. Okay. If I use my Ash, this... Ash with Eclipse with 291% damage increase and I'm using uh, like 5 Crimson Arcan Shard 25% melee critical damage all the way bro this is like 
100, 120, this is 125 without counting the uh, Tau Forest. Like 125. This is like 125 critical damage and Eclipse. That's why I don't do that. That's why I use Nidus. So you use any frame you want. If the frame you're gonna be using, gonna be boosting the damage, that's good for you. Because you're gonna do even more damage. But me, I, I try to stay in Nidus level. So you can expand uh, using different frames. And so on. So this is the night speed that we're going to be using. Arcane uh, Fury for only critical hits. 60% uh, chance for 180% melee damage. Uh, two melee weapons for 18 seconds. Uh, Arcane Strike. 50% uh, chance for 60% attack speed. Two melee weapons. Swift Momentum. One of the best um, uh, aura mods in the game. 30% heavy attack. Wind up speed. Six uh, second combo duration. You don't worry about the combo duration. It's not our concern. Because we're going to be using uh, the uh, Corrupted Charge. So... The Toxin Rata, we're gonna be using Astral uh, Twilight. If you don't like Astral Twilight, you can use uh, Gleaming uh, Talon. I love them both, but feel free to use whatever you want. Primed Pressure Point, Sacrificial Steel, Primed Fever Strike, Corrupted Charge, Gladiator Might, Volatile, a Quick Return, Organ Shatter, and a Killing Blow. Okay, Killing Blow gonna give you melee uh, damage on heavy attacks. And heavy attack wind up speed. So the heavy attack is the one that you hit with the, uh, the roll of the mouse. That's the heavy attack, that's what to boost your damage. Uh, Gladiator Might, 20 extra critical chance and critical uh, damage. Organ Shatter as well. Volatile Quick Return for minus bounce because the glaives are bouncing and it's gonna give you, disable you the punch through, but you're gonna be fine, okay? Uh, if you don't like Prime Pressure Point, wait, what? Who doesn't like Prime Pressure Point? Yeah, there is players say, like, or think this weapon shouldn't have a Prime Pressure Point, you can throw Power uh, Throw, okay? If you have a Riven, you feel free to change. If you have a Riven, critical chance, critical damage, damage, you can switch it with Gladiator Might or Organ Shatter. That's uh, my thing. Initial combo, of course, you're gonna go for Corrupted Charge. Okay? Simple as that. So this is the viral build, similar to that. Astral Twilight, Amalgam Organ Shatter. Actually, sorry, I make a mistake. Now it's correct. Amalgam Organ Shatter is the one that should be here, not the... Because heavy attack, wind up speed. There you go. Okay? Uh, viral uh, Rata, Astral Twilight. Uh, Amalgam Organ Shatter, Sacrificial Steel, Prime Fever Strike, uh, Gladiator Might, Corrupt Charge, Quick uh, Return, and North Wind, and Killing a Blow. This is for Viral, if you want to go for Viral. Let me show you really quick what the weapon acts, uh, how the weapon acts as uh, Viral. Boom. 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 Now, your question is, Hank, would you recommend this weapon? 100%. This weapon is very, 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 very powerful. Now, we're going to come to where we're not going to be friends anymore. We're not gonna be having fun anymore. Where we're gonna be doing the slash rata. Slash rata, Astral Twilight, Pressure Point, Sacrificial Steel, Quick Return, Organ Shatter, Power Throw, Killing Blow, Corrupt Charge, Gladiator Might. Why we're not gonna be friends anymore? Because this weapon deals primary impact. Primary impact. Okay? It doesn't do proking slash. But slash is the highest. Follow me, guys. Slash is the highest element. So if you don't proc slash. Uh, sorry, if you don't proc. Uh, toxin and impact will be proc guaranteed when you do the detonation, okay? That's part of the weapon, okay? So, based on your status, okay, which this weapon, if you if you notice here, you ha it has like 30% status. When the stats are procs, you're gonna proc either impact, puncture, and slash. But slash, since the fix of uh, the status, how it works, and everything, slash will be your first, okay? So, we are modding it for pure slash. It's gonna be toxin by default. And it's gonna be slash. Let me show you. Okay, let me uh, let me switch the um, the stance because I really, to be honest, I really love the. Uh, I I don't have nothing against uh, Astral Twilight, but I I love Gleaming uh, Talon. I feel it makes you uh, hitting faster and so on. I don't know why. I just love the, the thing. Okay, so you hit like this. Boom. You see impact and toxin. Okay. Boom. Impact and toxin. You know why? Because I'm detonating and because it's a guaranteed. But if you hit, look at this, look at this, boom. Don't worry about the viral, look, boom, you see this? You will not have your uh, slash proc'd all the time. This is why I say it's not, uh, this is where we're not gonna become friends anymore. As you can see, impact is the base. This what this what makes this weapon kinda weak. But did you see the last tick? It was a slash, did you see that? If I had it modded for viral or corrosive, 
or whatever you will not see the tick of slash slash is very important and you want uh, to have it on the uh, on the weapon so look at that boom slash so the slash here is like proking passively in a way it's like it's it's, it's like it like wants to proc slash but it's um like hold by the, the weapon uh, passive of proking uh, uh, impact and toxin like it, it's like the game like when you throw it when you throw the weapon and you detonate it the game say toxin and uh, toxin and uh, impact but between that it's gonna happen slash so by not having a viral or something you're gonna be good viral is still so good by the way viral will still you're gonna proc slash viral and so on slash is more advanced it was me experimenting with the weapon but still is very very freaking powerful you, you can rely on it if you want to be safe toxin is the first I, if i rank them i will go toxin first viral second uh, slash third if you don't like viral of course you can switch north wind with electricity uh where is where is shocking uh shocking touch and you're gonna have corrosive very good but everybody now using armor strip so corrosive would not be so good corrosive is good even if you have 100 armor strip because when you're doing abilities not everything you're gonna armor strip okay there is times where you don't armor strip so corrosive still good to hit and it's damage the armor strip is armor strip it's complicated anyway toxin is the way to go so let's go where we're gonna go we're gonna go test the weapon in um steel path we're gonna go relay uh, really quick uh, steel path if you are a new player and you don't know anything about how to unlock steel path and all that uh, steel path is the end game in warframe for now i mean some things uh, end game is uh, fashion frame and dojo frame i disagree everybody has their own opinion i respect yours respect mine so steel path enemy is going to be plus 100 health and shield armor 250 percent how to unlock it you finish all the nodes in your normal star shard and then uh, you go finish the angels of the Zariman quest and then you go to speak rotation in any relay okay that's it you got your steel path unlocked you treat it like any nodes enemies are so powerful and yeah if you're wondering how to become invisible like this when you're hacking that's auto breach from your parazon i can show it to you uh, afterwards okay we're gonna really quick uh, get some uh, stacks uh, for nidus you don't you, you don't you don't want to play the uh, nidus without stacks right because this guy is like meant to die so playing him without uh, stacks is a very bad idea Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let me get really, really quick. Like at least 15 to recover. Boom, we're ready. And here we go. And to be really honest with you, to be really honest with you, this weapon doesn't disappoint. Okay? This weapon doesn't disappoint. It's a very powerful weapon. You will enjoy playing it. If you don't have Glaive, for example, you will enjoy it. If you like to step away from uh, the wolf pack of Glaives, you can just use Serata. Serata is very powerful and it will take you to the end game without any any issues uh, it scales very well with enemies it's so powerful you saw that the impact and slash proc at the same time that's what i was telling uh, talking uh, about okay uh, the, now, now why what you, you can put uh, the carnies mods to boost even the slash even further to make the slash even more uh, powerful you can do that okay not uh, a problem you can play around with the bills i told you uh, many times the bills are not uh, written in stone you can always play around and twist them in your uh, likings so what we're going to be doing here i think you saw enough like the weapon does like million damage 500 000. Uh, and remember this is without any uh, boost of the weapon this is a pure weapon using nidus there is no boost in any way just a couple of arcanes and normal uh, aura it's not even steel aura it's just the uh the heavy attack uh, aura okay swift uh, momentum it's very good uh aura you need to have it in my opinion one of the must have uh, auras so what what doesn't die with toxin is gonna die with impact what doesn't die with impact is gonna die with slash your panzer profiler will proc for you uh, the viral uh, now we're gonna advance this a bit by adding the epitaph and serata yes you can hold epitaph any one-handed uh, secondary weapon you can use same time with glaive weapons to prime those enemies look at that the more uh, elements they have you're not you don't, you don't have condition overload uh, i know but uh, the, 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 the uh, elements does more than just uh, 
you need condition overall to boost the damage. For example, Viral gonna boost the damage to enemies HP and stuff like that. You're gonna slow them with cold, okay? Elements actually hurts those enemies more than you think, except that you you have to use condition overload to boost the prime uh, the Nikanas and uh, stuff like that. Okay, I even tried glaives with condition overload. I mean, yeah, I, I've tried them all. I've tried them all, my friend. It, it's really uh, crazy. It's good. You you try different things that we have to do in one frame. So yeah. Uh, how much we staying here? We're gonna stay for uh, two minutes. Which does is not a live stream. This video. Okay. And I didn't want to speed this out so I can. Uh, speak with you and I share with you my honest opinion. I can speed this and put you a couple of memes You know, that's easy to do, but uh, I wanted to speak with you if there is something I want to say or so I don't forget or pass uh, through trying to answer as much uh, question as possible uh, Panzer profile at the pet you get it from uh, Deimos to Transfer for you guys as much information as possible. Okay, you get you, you get it uh, from uh, Deimos uh, Sirata is treated as any other glaive and uh, I mean, there is many glaives. There is the glaive prime. There is uh, there is um, Sirata. There is Exoris. There is Orvius. Exoris is very very powerful. A lot of players underestimating Exoris, but Exoris is a very powerful weapon. I have them all the builds in the channel. Check them out. And in the end of this video, I'm gonna put you uh, like the link of how to get the Panzer Profiler. In the end, there in the channel we have a lot of videos. We have uh, builds. We have passion frames. We have everything that you uh, would like. And uh, some Thanos would say, Hang, this weapon can reach uh, uh, damage cap. I would say, yes, if you can reach damage cap. You would need around 700 uh, Eclipse. I think 700, uh, 700 Eclipse with Breach Surge from uh, Wisp. You will reach uh, the damage cap with it. You can do it uh, if you want. You can go with Ivara and you do the line. Uh, the, the, the line with Ogmont. Yeah, you can do pretty nasty damage with it. Uh, if you want, you can go with Mirage. You can do very crazy stuff. You can you can go with Mirage with Breach, or you go with Wisp with uh, uh, Eclipse. Works uh, both ways. And if you have like Roar in your team, that's gonna be really crazy stuff. So okay, so we're waiting for the Acolyte to spawn. Acolyte can gonna spawn in any second right now. We already have the uh, the sign. Okay, I'm not gonna armor strip him. I mean, if I armor strip him, I will already can one shot him, right? Or we all know that. Okay. We all, can, we all know that, that I can uh, one shot him, we all know that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prime him. I'm going to prime uh, Mania and then I'm going to use Boom and that's one, that's two. Two shots uh, with line of sight, without, without, without line of sight. That means the weapon didn't actually hit him, only the explosion uh, did hit him, so it took two hits. You, you're going to uh, one shot him most of the time, okay? And we use Void Strike from Madurai in case you say, Oh, Hank, you use Madurai? Yeah, we use Void Strike from Madurai. Eh, why not? Because we're not going to be using Naromon, so we can boost the damage uh, by uh, Void Strike. And actually, I would recommend for you to use Madurai and Shilling Grasp when you're going specially solo. So you can take down the Acolytes with uh, with melee weapons. We all know taking Acolytes with primary weapons, not all primary weapons can take the Acolyte. So having Madurai is going to boost your melee damage to take down the Acolyte. And it's gonna revive you hitting a uh, void strike and using your amp to revive yourself is very very uh, good thing to do okay simple as uh, that I know this video is kind of long a lot of talking a lot of this but it is what it is that's how we do videos around here we don't copy out anybody we do our own and our own own our own style all right starting with the build so recapping so this is a nice uh, build really quick oh that's the nice build that we're using Boom, 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 boom. You can copy that. I have the full Knights build and guides in the channel. Check them out. Uh, we're using Health Regeneration full set of Azure Arcane Shards. Uh, Tenet Arca Plasmor. Epitaph. This is the build of Epitaph. Ogre Secret for Stated Duration. This is the build for uh, Epitaph. Uh, Cold uh, Proking Heat and Viral. Sirata. Uh, this is the build for Sirata. Toxin. Toxin is the way to go. Viral is secondary as uh, corrosive. A slash is uh, an experiment. I like it. It's not bad. It works. You can uh, try it around. What I'm talking about earlier about the carnies, you can throw carnies uh, in there instead of power throw. I mean, you need to mod this. Let me move this way and put this over here. There you carnies to have even further uh, stronger slash. So the moment slash uh, procs is going to be very, very deadly. I've tried it. Works so good. Very nice. Okay, right. Uh, you can you can try it. Madurai and this is the void strike I'm talking about. 
Boom, boom, boom. Void strike. First ability costs all energy to increase damage for 8 seconds. Deal 10 additional damage. That means you're gonna have 1000 extra uh, damage for 8 seconds or something like that. This is the Panzer of Bulbophila pet that we are using. Okay, Panzer of is gonna proc viral for you. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna help you with the equilibrium, holding the uh, health orbs uh, with Martyr. You're gonna be using this pet forever if you're gonna go for endurance rounds you're gonna be using smita kavat if you're gonna be uh you going for the loot and i'm gonna leave you the uh, panzer profiler link up up there so how to get the panzer profiler okay easy very easy enjoy have fun that's how we do it so we come to an end to this video uh, i want to say guys thank you so much for watching uh, you guys amazing thank you so much for all the support that you're doing to the channel sub comment like join if you want to support the channel even uh, further we have discord link on the description if you join us on uh, discord and let me know what you think about this build in the comments below and what is the next build you want to see what frames what weapons brainstorm in the comments below i'll be happy and more than happy to answer all to answer you all if i don't answer your comment please wait because there is a lot of comments there is a lot of videos everybody commenting in different videos i try to get catch up and get a hold of all the comments big love to you all and see you next time